Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, we're going to continue now. We finished our warm up with moving in today's one day mini project. So you're going to take care of that on the second page of your packet. Uh, the box is just underneath the Monday warm up and it's a half sheet of paper here today. Um, to review uh, Keith Haring. So think about what he's doing here. He's making lots of patterns using line. We're going to try and do something very similar just for a one day project. So your first thing you're gonna have you do is imagine this is our, our warm up, um, our Monday mini project. So all I'm gonna have you do is fill this paper with something similar to this, okay? So you're gonna go through this, you're gonna um, just making lots of interesting line shapes and squiggles and drawing those throughout the paper. So that's our first step. Okay, so maybe set yourself a timer for kind of five minutes and see how much we can get done in those five minutes. Okay, off we go. You can draw forms, but you know, it's, it's okay also to make this kind of abstract right now. So we can play with all our different line types. We've got our zigzags. If you remember, we've got our horizontal lines. We've got some curved lines. Got our vertical lines. And we have our diagonal lines. So let's go for a composition that's full of these different lines, first of all. If you feel like putting some figures in there, I'll leave it to you. Okay, something like that. What's important at this stage is we leave quite a bit of space. Because what we're gonna do is we're now gonna turn these lines into shapes, just like we did for our um, graffiti letters. So I have my shapes, like my lines like this, and then I'm just gonna trace around them So you can see why I don't want to get too close with them. Because if I do, it'll make it really difficult to make the shapes. Keep going through this. I'm trying to go as fast as I can.
Okay, and then you're gonna grab your eraser and get rid of the lines in the middle. So you should be left with a really interesting abstract composition like this. Your next step is to go through it and to add all of your line quality. Really important our line quality in this. Use a pencil, whatever you prefer, whatever you have available. Going around everything. Really nice, good sized outlines. And the next thing I'm going to have you do, I'm going to challenge you to do, is I want you to choose three of these shapes and add value to them just like we were doing um, last week. So if you remember what we were doing last week is we were starting with a, like a number two value pretty much throughout the whole of the shape. Little bit of a number one in the middle. Number one being the lightest tint. And then on the edges, let's just go to a number four this time. So I want you to do three of your shapes with value, and then I want you to, to add color to three other shapes, any three colors you want. And yes, I know I'm cheating. Like so. So three shapes with value, three shapes with color, then I want you to take a photograph of that and turn it into me on Google Classroom. Okay, can't wait to see what you've done. Uh, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow for um, our warm up and also the beginning of our, our final project. All right, have a good day.